Hi, welcome to the channel. My name's Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. So today something a little bit different. I think my last video might have been uh, my little micro uh, infed half wave and I'll put a link to that up in the corner there. Hopefully that was the right spot. But today we're doing something a little different. My good buddy, the Smoking Ape from the Smoking Ape channel sent me this today. It's an MFJ 1126 power distribution center there. You, mount it, you can mount it on the wall or whatever. So today we're gonna go through it. We're gonna open this thing up and see what it looks like inside. So stick with me, let's look this thing over really close and uh, let's get on with the show. All right. Um, this is the uh, the web page. When you uh, get the uh, the package, it'll show you. It'll give you this little tag, and it tells you to go to the web page, and then open up your product manuals. So here's a just a quick view of it on the uh, website. Um, we'll, we'll actually go into the uh, the um, instruction manual. So MFJ eleven twenty six um, DC outlets, eight Anderson power poles. Uh, ninety nine ninety five on their website. Uh, as of today, this is three nineteen of twenty one. So let's go to the. This is the instruction manual. And it just gives you an introduction. It, 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 this one covers actually a bunch of different models. Uh, it'll give you the power ratings. Um, installation, choose a convenient location. Cool, cool, dry, and well ventilated. Um, if you go down here, so this is the uh, the 26. So maximum current is 40 amps. Power pole pairs is eight. There are no binding posts on this model. On the unswitched pairs, you have three, and the switch pairs you have five. DC voltmeter is yes. On off switch is yes, and a main fuse. And uh, and then it goes down in here to uh, it talks about power poles. Um, it might actually show you how to install them here. Um, the one thing I will say when you do power poles is when you push this little piece of metal into the plastic, make sure you hear it click. If it doesn't click, it, it can maybe not make a good connection. And I've had that happen before where I thought I had it all the way in. I didn't. And I was getting some intermittent powers um, to my stuff, to my uh, radio. So, and then it has some wiring diagrams down here. So, and that's probably for all the different ones. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to an overhead. I know the Smoking Ape, when he reviewed this, he did not go inside of it and look inside because he was doing multiple ones. I have to say thanks again for the Ape, to Ape for uh, sending this to me. Today, we're going to open it up and look inside and see how the solder joints and everything look and uh, see if we sign it. Just see if we see any kind of problems at all. All right, I just wanted to show you also the uh, parts that came with it. Now, for sure, yours is not going to come with these cool, these cool like smoking ape stickers. Mine did, but uh, I don't think MFJ sends those with most of them. So, just this, just this particular package that I got. Those are pretty cool. Thanks, ape. So let's just let's just put this out here and see what it comes in. What's in this bag? So, looks like we've got a bunch of power pole plastic parts there. We've got some um, fuses, replacement fuses. And then we've got the uh, actual power poles. And it looks to be, um, yeah, it looks like they'll take up to a 12 gauge, I think is what the uh, instructions said. So, pretty, pretty cool. All in all, a, a pretty complete package here. Not only do you get the uh, distribution panel, but you also get the parts to uh, set up your radios and whatever else you might want to plug into it. So a pretty good kit. I'm impressed. Here's the uh, MFJ 1126. It shows uh, input fuse of 40 amps max. And there's that. You have one, two, and three. That's your um, 
your unswitched it says down here you have one to three unswitched 40 amps total do a switch here or on and off and that's for these these uh there's five over here they have one for ten five it wasn't only in five one and one um it says four to eight are switched 20 amps total and then you have the dc voltage in the middle here which is pretty handy you also have um on each side here you have a little bolt hole um so you can mount it to a wall or to the desk or something like that i i may actually just mount mine to the wall i may put a board across the back and mount a few things on there some 110 or 120 and some and this maybe now the the wire here is a pretty heavy gauge and like i said before um probably four or six gauge I don't think it's any bigger than that. Um, really nice ends, and they've put a um, nice heat shrink over the edges of them there. Hopefully you can see all that. Let's, uh, I've already taken the screws out of this. So let's let's take the, um, let's take the cover off this thing and just uh, see what's inside. There we go. Okay, let's we'll turn this over. got me a little pointer here I'd say I'll uh let me let me come just a little closer for you oops wrong way okay all right so it looks like most of these solders are done pretty well I don't see anything loose all the wires and everything seem to be pretty tight um Everything over here is tight. These uh, connectors are tight. They've got the nice little uh, plastic parts there to keep it from uh, hitting any, you know, um, getting a bare, sh bare short onto the case. Uh, it looks like they don't use one of the contacts for the meter. Okay. Let's just kind of look all everything. Just looking. I'm just looking everything over, trying to look real close here. Okay, I will say that. Let's see where we're at. Okay, if you look look at this joint right here, it almost looks like they forgot to uh, solder. It looks like there's just a little bit of solder. Not not the best solder job I've ever seen. But other than that, everything looks pretty good. And then you also, what I didn't mention, you have a ground lug over here on the side too. That's grounded to the case. It's a pretty clean build, I'd say. Um, not bad. So uh, hope this should looks like it should work fine. And I, I might go ahead and just come in here and, and just resolder that one joint. Other than that, all the other joints look pretty good. Okay, so let me uh, I'll put that cover back on there. Now, if I didn't lose the screws, we're in we're in good shape. So, I have to say thanks again to the Smoking Ape for uh, sending this to me to review and. Uh, I will say I didn't pay anything for it. Uh, everything I said today is what I think of it. Uh, eventually, I'll I'll use it and try it out, and uh, I'm sure it's going to work fine. I can't see any problems with it. Okay, that was a pretty nice uh, uh, piece of equipment there from MFJ. They did a nice job on it outside of the, maybe that one joint, but uh, it was still soldered. It wasn't that bad. So uh, hopefully you, you guys uh, got to look at this real close, and uh, it looks like something maybe you want to buy, then you can... You can look it up on the MFJ site or someplace else that sells MFJ products. So I have to say one more time, a big shout out to my buddy, the Smoking Ape, for sending that to me to uh, evaluate and test it out. And uh, if you got something out of this video, hit that like button today and try hitting that subscribe button if you're new here. And then hit that bell, hit all. That way you'll get future videos that I put out. So this is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. Thanks for being here, and 73 all, be safe.